To set up GitHub Desktop in our local system, as a first step, we will install Git. Once Git is installed, we would configure Git for GitHub Desktop. We would set the Git global username and the user email. Next, we will install GitHub Desktop. Once both of these are installed, we will check the Git global and local configuration to have an idea how to use them for GitHub Desktop. Post that, we will configure different author information for an individual repository. Finally, we would clone a sample repository from GitHub using GitHub Desktop. Let's get started. To install Git in Windows, first search for Download Git for Windows. Click on the first link which is from git-scm.com download windows. Clicking on 64-bit git on Windows setup. Download is completed. Let me go to the folder. Double click on the exe. Click on next. Keeping the installation location as is. Again click next. Checking this icon to have an icon on desktop. Next. Now there would be multiple buttons appearing where I need to click next. So I would continue to do so. Install. Installation is complete. Unchecking this, click on finish. Open command line. First, I am checking the global config. We just installed git, so there won't be any. But for a clear concept, I am using this command. As you can see, it is unable to read this particular file. No such file or directory is present. This git config file is the global configuration. As we have not set anything, the file itself is not there. So, let me first set the username and the email setting the global username and the global user email now if i run the command which i ran initially you can see it is giving me this information now where is this file it is in c users then my username dot git config let me open that file and show you c colon users then my username this is the file i'm opening it using notepad plus plus if you see here under user i have the name and email set Next, we would install GitHub Desktop. Search for download GitHub Desktop. Clicking on this link, desktop.github.com, then download. Click on this button, download for Windows. Download completed. Going to the location. Double click here. Installation is in progress. Once it is complete, I'll resume the recording. Now, the installation is complete. You can see there are two options. One is you can sign into GitHub or sign into GitHub Enterprise, or you can skip this step and then it would provide you the option for local setup. Let me minimize everything. Before we proceed with login and other steps, let me explain few basic concepts here. So, the first thing do we at all need to install Git for GitHub Desktop? Is it mandatory? The answer is as per GitHub Desktop website documentation, yes, it is. I will show you the link and also the text over there. But practically speaking, if you don't want, even without installing Git, you can use GitHub Desktop. And the next steps that we would perform, you will come to know. Even if you don't have Git, you can manage with GitHub Desktop. But if you follow the best practices and the documentation from the GitHub Desktop website itself, yes, we should. Here you can see if you go to this GitHub website in this particular link under part 3 configuring Git, they are clearly mentioning you must have Git installed before using GitHub Desktop. If you do not already have Git installed, you can download and install the latest version of Git from this particular location. So, if you want to customize and configure the Git, ideally you should have Git installed. From practical experience, yes, we can skip it, we can still use GitHub Desktop without git now in case we have git installed how to configure git for github desktop by default if you have git installed github desktop uses the local git configuration settings and provides the option to configure some of the settings like git username git email id etc and also the default branch which is used when creating a new repository we would understand it better in this lesson when we do the hands-on part if name and email address have already been set in the global Git configuration, GitHub Desktop will detect and use those values. This also we will check when we do hands-on. GitHub Desktop also allows to set a different name and email address for an individual repository. So, these are some key aspects. We will check this out just now. So, if we recall, we opened the Git config file just a few seconds back, right? If I reopen it, 
here you can see a change right apart from the name and email which we had from line number one to three certain other details are added and these are added by github desktop here the username or the email that we are using this is the global git configuration now in github desktop let me try to sign into github.com now this authentication would be done via github whatever configuration i have here in dot git config file which is j2e expert 2015 at the gmail.com it's not necessary that i use that i can log into a different github account from here but generally what we do the user id and email whatever we use in github that we put over here but it's not mandatory so just for example I'm going to log in with the same account details over here. Click on sign in. We need a verification code. I have entered the verification code. Continue. Click on open github desktop.exe. Now you can see over here there are two options. One is to use my github account name and email address. Another configure manually. If I select this one, this is the information it is picking from my global git configuration. So that is why I was telling even if I don't install git even if i don't have that local or global configuration doesn't matter i can use this and i can work so here i would do a little customization i would change this to this email and one thing it shows over here if you perform a commit it would look like this let me click on finish if i maximize this if you are logged in on the left hand side the repositories some of the repositories not all would be shown here these are all the repositories i have for this particular account in github and then we have this ui if i just click on this in file there are multiple options like add or clone repository i'm not going through all of them but at a very high level these are the options we have this is more or less repository related these all are disabled now because we don't have any repository this is a branch related thing and the last one is regarding help coming back to what we were discussing we have a global git configuration but in github desktop we can ignore that completely so right now i'm going to show you i will just log out from here and i will log into github desktop using a different github user email but for that let me first log out from my github account First thing that I would do, I would sign out from this existing account and log in with a different GitHub user account. For that, go to File, Options. Here you can see I have logged in as this account, sign out of github.com. So I can sign in again using a different account, continue with browser. So here I'm providing a different user ID. Click on Sign In, Continue, Open GitHub, Desktop actually. Now it shows me the repositories which are under the different GitHub user account. Now if we recall the steps that we discussed we would be performing. Let me just go back to the slide. So these were the first three steps like installing Git, configuring Git for GitHub desktop and installing GitHub desktop. Then checking the Git global and local configuration. Global configuration we have checked. We will check the local configuration also. Then we would configure different author information for an individual repository that we will see right away. And the final step which we discussed cloning a sample repository from GitHub that I'll show you right away. And in this case what will happen using GitHub desktop from GitHub we would clone a particular repository in our local system. So the first thing we will check the global and local configuration specifically the local git configuration because global one we have already checked. Let's get back to GitHub desktop. In GitHub desktop I'll go to file create a new repository. I'm providing a sample repo name. So one thing over here by default GitHub desktop provides you this default path. See users, then your username, documents, GitHub. But what I would suggest, you create a dedicated folder and that folder you provide here. Whenever you create any repository using GitHub desktop, ideally you should store in a particular folder rather than putting it here under documents. So I have one folder already created. I'm going to provide that path over here. This is the folder. Paste it the path. The rest I'm ignoring for now. Click on create repository. So this is my local repository let me go to this directory under view if you have checked to see the hidden items you can see this dot git folder otherwise it would be a hidden folder for you if i go under this and and open this particular folder maybe using notepad plus plus there is some configuration already provided right so this is the local git configuration now if i go back to github desktop here i can change the author information 
for this specific repository. Right now, by default, it is using the global git config. If I go to repository, select repository settings and select this git config, you can see by default, it is using the global git config. If you want to use a local git config, which is specific to that folder, I can change it. Let me change it to some valid value. Click on save. So going ahead, it would be using a different user ID. Now, if I go back to that local git config file, it would have new entries. Yes, we can see over here, this file has been modified by another program. Do you want to reload it? Yes. You can see the information that we have passed, it has come here. So this is the local git config we have talked about. So we have checked both local and global git config and we have also seen how to use a different author or user for a particular repository while using GitHub desktop. Now the final step, we would try to clone a sample repository using GitHub desktop. For that, I want to go to my GitHub account first. And also I forgot which particular user ID I was using. Let me go to file options and I'm using this one git sample user 2024 there I would log in so this is my github user account let me select any particular project copy the url go back to github desktop cancel all this I want to clone a repository from the internet or github specifically right so file clone repository one thing I can do, I can clone any of this repositories. Even if I search by name, it would filter it out. That is one way. Or even if it is not your repository, other repositories which you can clone, you can provide the URL over here. In this case, I am providing my own repository URL. But any other GitHub repository URL, you can provide it over here and it would clone it. Let me clone this one. So we can see over here the url that we provided that repository is cloned into our local system here if i click this both of the repositories are shown and we can toggle in between and another thing if we click on this particular repository there are a couple of options we can view it on github we can open it on command prompt we can show it in explorer and as i have visual studio code locally installed it is providing me the option to open it in vs code so i'm not going to open it now i can just click on show in explorer so this is the repository it got cloned here in my system and it has the sample code and files and all from the remote repository to summarize in this lesson what we did we installed the github desktop and we understood some basic concepts related to installation of github desktop and some specific configuration